and I'm back again for another video and this time I'm gonna take the camera outside my house and go on a little road trip it's yeah you know, since I'm uh, working part-time now uh, I've I have more free time and yeah so I thought I just um, take a day road trip uh, to go out to this uh, waterfall uh, which right now it's supposed to be really beautiful because there's so much water flowing over it so that'd be good time to uh go see it yeah get, getting out of the house would be good for me yeah uh, yeah i spend too much time inside anyway so yeah yeah we good to get out and thought i bring her bring along the camera with me and also my name is dylan uh i always forget to introduce myself uh, in my vlogs, I, I mean to, but, uh, you know, I just forget until, until I'm like editing it or, or uploading it. Then I remember, oh, that's what I forgot to do. So yeah, this time I remember, uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, now, now you know my name and you don't <laughs> have to think of me as just that one guy. And here is the waterfall. Isn't it beautiful? It's called Shoshone Falls. If you think of my home state of Idaho, you probably don't think of waterfalls. If you think of cornfields, you're thinking of Iowa. How dare you? There are actually quite a few major waterfalls thanks to all the mountains we have here. When I saw Shoshone Falls, the water was flowing at 100% capacity, and that's why I wanted to see it. And it was great to see it in person. It was nice to not only get out of my apartment, but also out of the city. I've said in another video that I could easily stay inside my apartment and not leave until 4 or 5 p.m. if I had nowhere I needed to be. And even when I did leave my apartment I wouldn't go very far from it. It's not agoraphobia it's just I have no place to go and it's so easy to stay inside and on my computer. The drive to get to Shoshone Falls wasn't that far really so I wish I had actually done this trip sooner. Uh, there's my shadow. And on the drive I actually thought about that one song, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls, or whatever it's called. And I've heard that it's actually about crime and guns and even HIV, which I never would have figured out on my own. Like, I'm really not good with metaphors and allegories and stuff like that, unless it's quite obvious. Like that movie, Zootopia. When I first saw the movie, I picked up right away that it was about discrimination and bigotry. And they didn't hammer the message in every two minutes. Because when a movie or TV show does that, then I'm like, okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, this is weird. There's a giant rock at the end of the viewing platform and people just toss coins onto it for whatever reason. And the reason why those power lines have those balls on them is so that planes and helicopters can see them. And also, it looks like there's houses that people live in right behind the waterfall. I don't know if I would want to live in those houses. That's not a house. I think that has to do with the electricity that's produced through hydropower. So yeah, that was my trip to see a big waterfall and it was nice and I hope to do more stuff like this in the future. So until next video, goodbye.